It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word in the Morning, with your host brother Oscar York DeBoers, where we are praying up and praising up and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning.
And now here is our host, Brother Oscar. Come on, Brother Oscar. Good morning, good morning, good morning, every one of you. We are so glad to be with you this morning and to bring on another episode of Chatting from the Road. <laughs> yes, we are, yes, we are, yes, yes we are. Our introduction song was Johnny Wilder Jr. And he says, My goal, my goal is going to heaven. The late Johnny Wilder Jr. And my friend, is your goal going to heaven? Or is your goal going to other places? And Johnny is saying, I'm not allowing all this talk that's going around confuse me. But I'm going to study the path, stay on the righteous path, heading uh, to heaven. And that was the late Johnny Wilder Jr. Again, we're so delighted to be with you this morning and to bring on another episode of Chatting from the Word. And we hope you have your ears on this morning so that you may get ready to pray up and to praise up and to have that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk this morning. Yes, 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 yes. The Christian, Christian walk this morning. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord, my friend. It's just a good thing to get up in the morning to praise the Lord, have the Lord on your mind, and to get your day started off right, so that you may show Christ to the world and be proud that you are a Christian this morning. Amen. And uh, a, a mess, nothing like being a Christian. Loving the Lord and spending your time in prayer, supplications, and in praise to the Lord. And here on Chatting from the Word, that's one thing, two things. <laughs> we love to stay praying up and praising up. And we hope that you feel, feel the same. Amen. And uh, a a man. On yesterday we went to our doctor's office because our foot wasn't healing, and we went to the emergency. And they said to me, "Brother, I, I, <laughs> Mr. York, your your toes are still broken, and your circulation to your feet is no better." And so they started giving me some medicine to calm the pain and to do other things to my feet that should have been done the first time. So uh, we're feeling a little bit better, not too much pain that's going on with my foot. But we want to thank you for keeping this old guy here in your prayers. We really, really thank those that pray for Brother Oscar. And we hope that you keep Brother Oscar in your prayers as he keeps you in his on this beautiful, uh, beautiful morning. All right, all right, all right, y'all, all right. My friend, if you live in the section of the world that Brother Oscar lives in, West Carrollton, Ohio, uh, Dayton, Ohio, and the surrounding areas, the weather people says that it is 36 degrees and sunny. 36 degrees and sunny. Sunny 
And sunlight to me is a beautiful, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. It's beautiful out there right at this moment. And my friend, if you need to be out in the element of things, as we say here, stay praying up and praising up. Because we live in a dangerous, dangerous world. Where we, deal with, where we deal with all kinds of people. So my friend, what we need to do is to stay praying up and praising up and be careful while you're out there. And I, I gave an example of what I usually do. I usually ask God to help me get to my destination and back safely. Amen. And uh, a, 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 a man. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. All right, all right. If this happened to be your first time listening, if this happened to be your first time listening, we would love to welcome you to the program. But not just only welcome you to the program, but, but my friend, we would love for you to know that you are our honorary guest this morning since you having your ears on for the very first time. We would love to make you our honorary guest and thank you for having your ears. <laughs> Amen and amen. And my friend, since you do have your ears on, we hope that you love this program. And we hope that you keep your ears on to the entirety of the program this morning. At least until we get to the chat part. And if this is your first time listening, we do have a beautiful chat this morning. And taken from the second Corinthians, the second letter that Brother Paul the Apostle uh, penned to the Corinthian church. And uh, Paul, of course, he's addressing to the Corinthian church, and he addressed us today since it's in the the book we call the Bible, the book that we live by if we're going to heaven. And here Paul is talking about the terror of the Lord, the terror of the Lord. And that's what we've been talking about for the past couple of weeks. And we are, of course, First Corinthians, excuse me, Second Corinthians 5, 11 to 1, and uh, Revelation 20. And we are stuck on that bottomless pit. And we're talking about those that are going to be, are, are in the bottomless pit. And we are looking at Romans 1, uh, beginning with verse 27, where we left off yesterday. And of course, Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians 2, uh, 7 through 12. So we hope that you keep your ears on until we get to the chat on this beautiful, beautiful morning. <laughs> amen and amen. And my friend, if you love what you listen to, share this program with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbors. With your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, uh, wherever you are coming on the airways or on the internet. Share this program if you truly believe that the world needs to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I believe that. I know that. That they really, really need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Share this uh, program with your friends. Amen. And a you know, technology is something else. 
the Lord uh, allow technology to be and what it helps us to spread the gospel even more to more better and much more wider. We, we can reach uh, more people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, a amen. And my friend, my friend, if you're wondering what you can catch the program this morning, of course, we are on many of the internet networks, and here's our announcer to allow you to know where you can listen to the program. If you're wondering where to listen to the program, of course, you can Google our program chatting from the word hosted by Oscar Wall. You can pull up many of our internet networks, iHeartRadio, 45, Google Podcast Breaker, and many, many more if you want to catch or listen to our program. And amen. I believe we just came out of a space break maybe a couple of minutes ago. And we want to thank you for those that have heard the big com- commercial break and came back. Come back. We're still talking here. <laughs> come back, come back, come back after the station break. And, uh, and we're glad, we're so glad here that you did come back after the uh, station break. But, my friend, if you want to catch the program, of course, you can go to many of these internet networks, uh, iHeartRadio, Spotify, uh, Google Podcasts, uh, uh, Amazon Podcast, uh, and, and many, uh, many more where you can listen to us here on Chatting from the World. Amen. 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 And now it is our prayer time. This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to our email addresses, which is lowercaseosnewyork. At gmail.com or chatting from the word at gmail.com, or you can put it on our messenger page on Facebook page on any page that you're listening to the program through, and we should be able to receive your prayer request. Oh. Uh-huh. 
amen and a amen. Again, this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for, here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to those entities our announcer just announced. And as always, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that's fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'd be just so delighted and so pleased to do just, just that. Again, this is our prayer time. And our prayer time scripture would be found in, our scriptures would be found in Psalms, the 121 division. That be Psalms, the 121 division. And if you care to read along with us, you are welcome to always do that. And in Psalms, the 121 division, the psalmist penned these words. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth thee will not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon the right hand. The sun should not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even for ever, ever more. Amen. And amen. Here the psalmist says, I will lift up my eyes unto the Lord, which cometh my help. The psalmist recognized all his help come from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And Brother Oscar recognized the same, and we hope that you recognize the same. As we Humbly, submissively, go to the throne of grace and have a little talk with our Father this morning. Are you ready? Our Father, which art in heaven, our Father who created this vast universe in which we live. Father, you said, let there be light, and there was light. And Father, you say, let us make man. And you made man from the particle dust and breathed through his nostrils to the breath of life. And man became a living, living soul. Father, we thank you for all your blessings. Father, we thank you for allowing us to rise this morning. Giving all of us a day that neither one of us has never witnessed before. And Father, we just want to thank you and praise you and love you for loving us, Father, this morning. Oh, Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And Father, we thank you for allowing us to God and Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down from the beauty of heaven, down to the sin sick world, to show us how to love to show us how to live and to connect with you. Oh, Father, we thank you, thank you so much, so much, Father, for that. And Father, we thank you for allowing him and he himself to taste 
the cross, taking our place, becoming sin, so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, we just thank you so much, so much, so much for that. And Father, we pray for all the disastrous things that have occurred on the face of this earth. Earthquakes and diamonds and places, storms and hurricanes and fires that's ripping homes and families and lives so far. Father, we pray for all the mass killings that's going on. Father, we pray for each victims and each victim's family. That they look up to you from this cometh their help. Their help comes from you who made heaven and earth. Father, we pray for wars and rumors of war. We pray for armies and Israel. We pray for Russia and Ukraine, Father. Father, we pray that they seek that peace, that peace that passes all understanding. And Father, we pray for, we pray that each man and woman, boy and girl, find Jesus and add our family and be added to the family of God the household of God, the body of Christ, so they may start a journey heading to heaven. Oh, Father, 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 we pray this morning for those that have lost loved ones, Father. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for those that are problems at the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you come to them. Father, we pray for each police officer who are given their lives in a line of duty. Father, we pray that you be with their families also. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for all our political leaders. Father, we pray that they Never make laws forgiving us from worshiping you. But make laws so we all can live in peace and in harmony. Father, Father, Father. Father, Father, we pray for the church once again. Allow the body of Christ to continue on being the lighthouse, leading others to Jesus Christ. And Father, we come praying for all of our listeners this morning. Father, we pray, Father. Father, we pray that you be with all, that you help them through all their doubts and through all their fears. Father. Cast all their doubts and fears and be part of the sea where they won't be surfaced in the moon. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for our program this morning, chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep this program on the airways. Father, help us to keep chatting about your Word and from your Word. Oh, Father, 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 we just thank you all over the world. Place this morning. Hold on for a second. Sorry. Hello. Hello. This is Oscar. Yes, I.
Yes. Yeah. Okay, that, that's fine. But could you do me a favor? Could you call me back in another, let's say, 20 minutes? Okay, we because right now I'm on the airways. Oh, yeah, no problem. Not to call back. Okay, dear. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Sorry about that. I probably thank you for showing me uh, show me things this week on the pray for me. That you help those that are going through some difficult times. Father, we pray that you help those that are having marital marital financial Help those, Father, that are going through some mental situations, some physical situations, some financial situations, Father. Help those that are having troubles in the home, in the church, Father. Father, we pray that you keep them and help them through all those difficult times. And Father, be with those that are trying to teach and preach your word. Help them through the difficult times. Help them, Father. They may keep teaching your word regardless what Satan may throw at them. And Father, we pray that you help us to keep encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen. And uh, a amen. We want to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us or praying along with us. And we want to apologize to you this morning for uh, being interrupted. I had to take a phone call. That was my next uh, appointment, and we got to make that after the program. But we also uh, thankful that you're with us, that you're listening, and that you have your ears on. And as I continue saying, if you have a prayer request, you can uh, you can uh, send your prayer request to those entities that we continue on announcing here on chatting from the word, and I should be able to receive your prayer request. It's time for our chat for this morning, the terror of the Lord, taken from 2 Corinthians 5 verses 11 through 21. Are you ready, Brother Oscar? I am ready, I am ready, I am ready to chat with you. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready to chat with you. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready to chat with you. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready to chat with you. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready to chat with you. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready to chat with you. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready to chat with you. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready to chat with you. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready to chat and amen. Are you ready to hear the chat? <laughs> I guess I should ask that. Are you ready to hear the chat? You know, and not believe, and I don't know if this is to your understanding, but it is just a beautiful thing to get started in the morning with the Lord on your mind. It's just a beautiful thing to get started in the morning praying and praising to the Lord and and uh, listening to a chat and to uh you know study God's word in the morning. It's just a beautiful thing to start your day off like that. I believe it is. I believe it helps us. Uh if we start off the morning right to have a good a good day all day. <laughs> good day all day. So we hope that <laughs> you're with us. We hope that you have kept your ears on long enough to hear the chat. But we want to ask you to get relaxed, as always. Get relaxed. Go ahead on and have your uh, favorite drink, coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, uh, whatever it may be. Go ahead on and do that. And uh, get relaxed. If you relax, you recline your chair, relax on out, or recline on out. If you relax at your coffee table, go ahead and have a seat. 
But what we request here is for you to have a copy of God's Word so that you may follow us in our chat. And of course, our chat will be taken from our foundation scripture, is 2 Corinthians 5, verses 11 through 21. And we're talking about the terror of the Lord. So turn to our text if you have your Bibles and open your mind. Because some, some do have closed mind when it comes to studying the Word of God. And what do you mean by that, Brother Oscar? What I mean, I say it every day, or Monday through Friday, at least when you are, is the fact get all that clutter out your mind and what you've been thinking, what the scripture is saying, and accept what the scripture is saying. So don't have a closed mind because this is what, what you've been believing all this time, and now you're seeing, now you're seeing a difference from what you have believed, and, and you're not accepting it. And we hope that you accept what the Word of God has to say and not be so argumentative in your mind, in your thoughts, when it comes to what the Word do say. And many of us, we have done that, haven't we? We have set a barrier in our minds that somebody tells us something differently from what we believe in and all these years, we just not going to believe that. Regardless of what the Word of God has to say. But I'm here this morning. We just hope that your mind is open and that you accept what the Word of God says. And if you need to change, change. If you need to be what salvation lies, get there. Get there, okay? Get there. Get there. Because our lesson for this morning is it's a beautiful lesson. It's a lesson of encouragement, if you ask me. But many may look at this, this message as if it contains the word terror. It's something to be frightened of. Yes, as long as you stay in Jesus Christ is in the, and not, you're in the body of Christ, there's nothing to be afraid of. But if you're not in the body of Christ, or if we have talked about what you're in and what you're doing and you need to change, change. There's nothing to be afraid of if you change. But many of us, we so against change and we hope that here on Chatting from the Word that we have said enough to help you uh, through your journey in getting to heaven or help you uh, through your uh, of starting your journey uh, to get to heaven. Okay, we hope that we have done that. But what we're talking about this morning is the terror of the Lord. You know, the Bible says it's a frightening thing to come under the judgment of God. Yes, it does. I mean, if you're not doing what's right, or doing things that's going to help you to get to heaven but put you in hell, you got to make it right. You got to uh, make it right. And we're talking about the terror of the Lord because that's what Paul was talking about in our text of the second Corinthians, uh, the second letter that Paul wrote to the Corinthian church, and he said the terror of uh, the Lord. And we just want to reread that for Ephesus' sake, so that you may be reminded of what we we are basically are chatting about. And Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5, Paul says in verse 1, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. 
Yes. In your consciousness. And we are talking about the terror of the Lord. And of course, we went to Revelation 20. And we're going to study that whole text, that, that whole chapter 2. Also, when it comes to the terror of the Lord. And John, in the, he was in the lower spirit and on the island of Patmos. And God allowed him to see so many things. And this book, uh, this letter, the, the revelation is written to the Church of Christ, warning them to uh, straighten up at least the seven churches of Asia. Okay, and then chapter 20 is telling them if they don't straighten up, if they don't hit right, they're not going to be saved or where they are going to hit. And here John said, I saw an angel having the keys to the bottomless pit. And that's what we're talking about this morning, the bottomless pit. And we already told you, and Jesus told you, that the bottomless pit, he says, as I believe uh, Matthew 15, verse 14, he said, if the blind shall leave the blind, they both shall fall into the ditch of the pit. Okay? And of course, this pit is reverence to false teaching. And those who have failed to the prey of these false teachers. And many in the world today have failed, if I may use that term, to the prey of false teachers. And my friend, let me tell you this morning, and so many out there this morning that are teaching false teaching. They are teaching their gospel, their way, and do it this way. And some may hide under the cloak of being the Church of Christ, when that doctrine is not compatible to what the apostles have done, of what Jesus commands the church to be through his apostles. That's right. Oh, I'm a Church of Christ, but we do it this way. I'm a Church of Christ, but I'm also this. I'm a Church of Christ, but we just don't do that here. I'm a church of Christ, but I got to have a good feeling under the cloak of false teaching. Of false teaching. And we went to Romans, of course, and, and here Paul, in the letter that he wrote to the uh, Roman church, he he got real deep with the Romans here, knowing the many things that were going on in the Romans, in Roman Empire. And here he's talking about those that have fallen prey, if I may use that term again, to false teachers, fallen prey to what the world's teaching, Falling prey to their own way of thinking, falling prey to the way they believe and do to their own desires. And Paul, in verse 27 of Romans, the first chapter, he identifies, and we're talking about the bottomless pit. And those that are falling into the bottomless pit. And it's a bottomless pit because you continue. If you start believing these false teachers, if you start going that way, there's no end to it. There's no end to it. There's no end to it. If you start believing these things. And then John and then Paul says that God would give you strong illusions to believe a lie. To believe a lie, that's right. Here Paul is saying, 
in Romans 27. And on yesterday, we made reference to how women change the natural use of their bodies, what God made them to be, and they doing all sorts of things that they shouldn't do. Loving other women, a woman loving a woman, and then Paul talks about men also loving a man in verse 27. He said, likewise also, the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in their lust one for another, one for another, men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of that error which was meet. In other words, if you're going around loving men and love and another man loving another man and women loving other women, you wanted them to have fallen free to and are in the bottomless pit. And the only way you can stop falling, of course, is to change. And be in the team. Okay. <laughs> and even. The Bible says in verse 28. And even as they did not. Like to retain God in their knowledge. God gave them over. To a reprobate mind. To do those things which are not convenient, which are not convenient, which is not right. He gave them up. And let's go to Thessalonians. We go to read basically how did God give them up? Give them up to what? To who? And to what? Turn with me. To Thessalonians. We're going to allow this to be our last thought as we go back to the letter that Apostle Paul wrote to Thessalonica. To Thessalonians and Thessalonica. In chapter 2. And let's begin with verse, can we read verse 7, 8? And let's go to verse 9. And Paul says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Lying. L-Y-I-N-G, lying, lying, not laying, but lying wonders. Lying, they're lying. Of course, the one is lying wonders, Paul calls it. And then he says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them, that they perish because they deceive. Not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And then verse 11 says, And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. God keeps keep them there in their unbelief. By sending them strong delusions to believe a lie. And sometimes these delusions may appear to be right. You heard what Brother Oscar says. And that's, what this, that's why it's so strong. Because these false teachers that have fallen prey to Satan and teaching the message of Satan, that God had allowed them 
to get deeper into their delusions, have gotten deeper in their false teaching, have gotten deeper into uh, what they're believing, and even li having lying wonders. Lying wonders. They are lying. They are liars. <laughs> and some of them try to make their lies sound incredible and believable, but they are lying. And they are caught in this delusion. And even they believe what they're teaching. And they could be much, oh, some of them are the best talkers in the world. And they can get you to believe anything. Just look around you. Look at the crowds that are following these false teachers. And look at how many are following teachers that talk about the pie in the sky. Look how many fallen teachers that believe that you got to always feel good and to uh, look at these teachers up there dancing and, and doing all sorts of things, calling themselves worshiping the Almighty God. And they would tell you, my friend, I believe in God, but they don't be God. So God allowing them to have strong delusion. And here the word here is strong delusions. Not just a delusion, but a very strong delusion. And my friend, we just hope that you're not caught up into that. And if you are, get out of it. I'm like Paul, I'm trying to persuade you to get out what you're in. Get out what you're in. And here God do provide a way for you to get out, but you need to accept that way. And we hope this morning, that you do, we hope this morning that we have said enough for you to accept Jesus Christ this morning. We really, really have. We got to get out of here. And that's all we have for you today. We just hope and pray uh, that you come back tomorrow and uh, Listen to some of this good chat tomorrow. It's a good chat because it's talking about uh, Jesus Christ. And we hope that many of you on tonight go to your Wednesday night Bible class. Are you streaming or if you're going in person? So come back tomorrow and listen to us here on Chatting from the Word. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, thou be thy name. Thy kingdom is here, thy will is being done. Father, we want to just thank you for allowing us to bring this program to the Amway's Father. We just want to thank you for all your blessings and your loving mercy for us, Father. Father, we pray for all of our listeners. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them and help them through all their struggles. Help them to show Christ to a world that needs to see Christ. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, Rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. And may God bless.